it's late August in the British Isles, and we're enjoying a wonderful warm summer's evening. A small balloon festival is taking place in the area known as the Cheshire Camp. The UK has reached 30 degrees ambient temperature, and the internal area of the country has warmed considerably compared with the coast. This is the area that we're flying in. The Cheshire Gap sits between a range of hills to the west and to the east, and while the prevailing wind has been pushing from the south, cold air is now pushing in from the coast. The first of the balloons begins to launch and tracks away to the south. Moving quite quickly, it is riding an air, a layer of colder air which has been brought in from the coast. This is the sea breeze. We've illustrated it here with a blue arrow to show where the cold air is moving. And we'll see that again later as the video continues. The balloons launch and we've tagged a few of the balloons with these bubble icons. Again, to demonstrate the change in the atmosphere. And we'll see them later in the video. Balloons are rolling in the evening breeze and everybody's enjoying it. The prevailing wind direction has been from onshore towards the coast and the warm summer's days and clear skies have heated the land. The warm air is rising and creating an area of low pressure. As a result of this low pressure area Cool, dense air from over the sea is being sucked in to the land. The balloons are launching into this cooler air. As the balloons climb, they encounter the difference between the outgoing air and the incoming air. This creates a boundary layer, known as wind shear, where the change of direction causes turbulence. And we've highlighted this in a series of photographs. Note how the balloon is distorted and shaped. The pilot reports that the flight was successful and he had no issues. We can see here also the balloon on the left taking off, and while sometime later circled to the right, the balloon is a long way down range, but is now in a completely different section of the sky, travelling in a different direction. Again, the pilot has climbed above the layer of turbulence and found the prevailing wind. We can see it here in a time lapse moving in a completely different direction to the balloon highlighted in the circle, which is down in the lower level of cooler sea breeze air. We'll keep an eye on these three balloons, because they'll appear later in our video, having tracked back right over the top of the launch site. It's playtime for the pilots. With the wind moving in so many different directions, they have the opportunity to climb, change direction, come back down, change direction again. In this little animation, we can demonstrate how the balloons are traveling downwind. They always travel downwind, but at low level, they're catching the sea breeze before climbing and finding the prevailing wind to bring them back in the opposite direction. The next group of balloons begin their inflation. Time has ticked by, and as we look to the sky above us, we can see the balloons from earlier have now passed back over the top of us in an effect known to balloonists as the box.
down here on the ground, the wind is still blowing north to south, while just a few thousand feet above us, the wind is still tracking from south to north. More balloons launch, heading south still. The air is clear and calm, and as the evening continues, the sea breeze is slowing, and balloons will be able to drift away both to the south and have calm landings, and to the north before dropping lower and returning to the south. A lucky few will pass across the launch field again. <laughs> 